the 1940s, the scientist by the name of Raymond Dart found an ape man that was called Australopithecus Prometheus. And this was the ape man that appeared in the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. That was the ape man that Raymond Dart found. But it turns out that he told over 35 lies and um, this was not appreciated till we went down there. You would think he was just making a bunch of mistakes, but we interviewed his colleague, Robert Brain. Now, when we were interviewing his colleague in South Africa, Dr. Dart was already passed away. And Dr. Brain told us this. He said, the last thing that Dr. Raymond Dart told him before he died, he said to Dr. Brain, Brain, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. See, he had a total disregard for facts and truth so that he could make up eight man stories. And I'm gonna show you just five or eight of these frauds that he did that everyone in the past thought was just mistakes. But now in light of that statement, they appear to be frauds. For example, he said in the New York Times in the 1950s that the Australopithecines had brain volume of a thousand cc's. That'd be the size of my brain. But in reality, they only had a brain size of 500 cc's. Dr. Dart would make up stories. He said that he found all these tools found with this ape man. He said he found a, an ape man saw, but it was just an ordinary jawbone, an ape man scrub brush, but it was just an ordinary uh, a- antelope maxilla, an ape man pickaxe, but it was just an ordinary horn of a skull that was with the horn still attached, et cetera, et cetera. He made all those stories up and he found stalactites. Now he's getting these published in nature, by the way, <laughs> which is just astonishing that they let him publish all this crud. Here he found some stalactites with this ape man. And he said, these aren't ordinary stalactites, they're stone tools, 17 of them he found. And, um, and then when it actually turned out what the bones that he found of this ape man. Here's here is 2001 A Space Odyssey here. And here's um, his rendition that got morphed into 2001 Space Odyssey of Australopithecus Prometheus. Debbie and I photographed the fossils, all the fossils that Dart found at this cave site called Macapanscat. And we got access to the catalog from the museum or the University of Witzwatersand. And it turns out these bones were not even many of them weren't even primate. For example, the arm bone was from the dog family or canid bones. The um, skull, two of the skull bones of Prometheus were bovid skull bones, like the cow family. The collar bones were actually not collar bones, but they were horse toe bones. And then the hip bone was from a cat family. And he had other monkey bones in there it was all just made up and he had no problem telling these lies.